My name is Ashton Sweeter, and for my DB project, I chose Larry Fong. Okay, so to start with his early life, um, Larry was born in Southern California to Chinese parents, and he was raised under a mix of Chinese and Hawaiian culture. His parents had been born in Hawaii, so uh, they raised him under a mix of both. And at an early age, he showed a strong interest in art, and that actually led to his dad making him a dark room. And for those of you who don't know, a dark room is um, it's obviously a room where you can filter out all the light and it's mainly used for developing film but it can serve other artistic purposes obviously. So while he was at junior high and high school, uh, Fong studied photography and printing. Those were his primary interests in art. And from there he applied and got into UCLA where he managed to get a Bachelor of Arts degree in Linguistics. But the ironic thing is he was actually rejected by the film program and that really killed his passion and we saw and after he graduated uh, he it's he really just lost interest in the film industry so following the graduation he began working on various side projects and through them he actually managed to regain his love for film that he had previously lost before and that convinced him to apply to the Art Center College of Design in Pasadena and he actually got in it was in there that he began to develop his visual style um, his cinematography, visual style, and aesthetic. And it was actually there that he also met his future collaborator, Zack Snyder, director Zack Snyder. So after graduating from Pasadena, he began working on various uh, music videos and commercials. Um, he was hired by many industries, both um, commercial and artistic. And those, those helped him gain some attention, but he it really he really wasn't in the spotlight yet until until he was hired by JJ Abrams to work on the Lost pilot. Uh, that really put him on the map and he was actually got a nomination by the American Society of Cinematographers for best television work. He was nominated unfortunately, he didn't win. But um it didn't matter because that really got his foot into the industry and from there he's gone on to do many films that we'll get into. So before we get to the clips, I'd like to talk a little bit about Fong's style. In the interview, he said he likes to film on anamorphic, which is uh, widescreen on 35mm film, if you, in case you didn't know. He also said the type of lens he likes to lose is 25mm smear, spherical primo from Panavision. Uh, regarding his um, aesthetic style when it comes to films, he likes to have a big contrast between the subjects and settings. So if the settings are darker, he, he brings out the that brings out the subjects like the characters and if the setting is more lighter he likes to darken the characters so that they stand out more and on that note he also prefers to film film stuff with less light he prefer, really likes dark and moody f scenes but he doesn't get his way all the time but when but he said that that is his preference um, when he does have when he does have freedom so there's no better way of showing what I mean than actually showing a screenshot. This is from 300, the film that made Zack Snyder uh, really put him on the uh, spotlight in the film industry. And what you see is that Fong likes to create this contrast so that his char the characters in the film stand out. You can see that here with uh, Leonidas. He's wearing this dark, muted red cloak and this helmet covered in shadows with a gleam of sunlight at the top and a dark um, feather at the top of his helm. Whereas the background is, is much brighter. It has sunlight streaming in. It's very um, very light yellowish, yellow brown. And Leonidas stands out from the background. That's, that's, that's really what Fong prefers to do when it comes to his style. So to look at another screenshot, this is from Watchmen. And this fits Fong's style more. Remember, he said that he likes to shoot in darker, moodier sets. And this obviously reflects that. But even though it's really different from the previous 300 scene, you can still see Fong's same style here. For example, uh, in the character to the left, out of focus, his name is Night Owl. And even though he's behind shadows completely and wearing a darker armor, you can still see that same contrast that before we saw with Leonidas, with the moonlight clearly reflecting off his armor to create this, to make him stand out. Uh, whereas the character on the right, Rorschach, even though he's standing in a light, more lit background, he's still, 
uh, stands out because he's wearing darker clothing. Uh, you can see shadows on his face. His mask is also creating some shadows. And what we see here is that Fong has essentially created a half and half. He has a lit background to one half and a darker background to the other half. And to me, that's just genius work from a true master cinematographer. So that is Larry Fong. I hope you enjoyed this presentation and thank you very much. Bye.